Guys, how's it going? Timmy Two Shaves here with the Shaving Tulsa, I'm bringing you guys yet again more content. It's actually the first video in a while. I was so eager to get this unboxing out of the way that I decided, oh hell, why not? Let's just go ahead and put it up on YouTube. Originally, I was going to do a live video on Instagram, but Instagram seems to be having some connection issues. I know it's not my signal because I've tried both Wi-Fi and cellular and they're doing just fine. So something going on with Instagram as there always is, which is kind of the problem, but gives me a chance for you guys on YouTube to see it first. So I'm going to be doing a little unboxing of something you guys have probably seen already in the video title. That is for Edwin Jagger's brand new stainless steel 316. Now this has been something that I've been, been immensely looking forward to. I didn't even know that I was going to be getting this. Um, Gail had actually originally reached out to me, found out we're both actually from Oklahoma originally, which was kind of cool. But we were talking and she had reached out to me and said, hey, would you be interested in possibly looking into a product for us or interested in a collaboration? I was like, well, yeah, what, what's up? And, and they weren't really being straight with me as far as exactly what this was going to concern, but they said, would you be interested? And I'm like, oh, well, of course, you're Edwin Jagger. Why would I not be interested in that? So she was excited. She said, you know, she'll let the higher ups know they're trying to get a pool or a list of candidates available and wanted to see if that was something that would be my bag. So I was like, oh, definitely, of course. And I'd actually not heard anything back from Gail. And I didn't think I'd received a package, so I reached out to Gail again and I was like, hey, are you interested still in a potential collaboration? Well, she had emailed me back almost straight away and said, you should have received something on Friday. And I'm like, really? I don't usually check my front door because I come in through the garage. So waiting at my front door, this bad boy right here. So I'm real excited to open it up for the first time on camera with you guys, let you know what I think of it. Um, I'm going to be testing it out tonight. Of course, you guys know I can't wait. And since I shave twice a day, Timmy Two Shaves, I'm definitely going to be posting my initial impressions of this along with a full review after several days of use, which I'll probably be using this solely for the next few days. Which is actually kind of funny because I'm also receiving in a trade. I traded my Schick Type F. I know, sad day. But I did end up trading that for a Lecoq licensed palmer french adjustable razor really legit awesome razor i've been wanting as well so i'm really excited to see that but here we go so look it's a bag let's we'll see what's in here i'm really excited because i've seen people post some content but i haven't actually looked into anything regarding the 316 other than a couple of edwin jackers posts I know it's their first stainless steel offering. I'm familiar with the DE89, but I haven't looked at anyone's impressions of it yet, so I have no idea what to expect. Well, right off the gate, there's actually a ton of stuff in here. <laughs> so we've got some Edwin Jagger Premium Shave Cream. One, I didn't know Edwin Jagger actually did shave cream. Two, I'm incredibly excited and stoked about that. And it looks like there's a little explanation as to what it is. Let's see here. I'm not seeing anything in regards to... Oh! Sandalwood. So, excited about that. I do like me some sandalwood. Let's go ahead and take a whiff of this before we get to the main finale here. It's pretty good sandalwood. I do like that. And you can kind of see it's a creamy consistency in there. It's it's shave cream, so it's going to be a lot creamier than your typical shave soap. Little note from Gail. I'm Jaggers pleased to share with you our brand new 316 razor. We look forward to hearing your thoughts. Cheers. Yeah. Super stoked. Really excited. Sorry, guys, I'm dressed like this. It's kind of a, a casual Sunday kind of gearing day. Um... We have, of course, as you guys know, um, Game of Thrones is coming on tonight. So I'm kind of dressed comfortably for Game of Thrones. We're going to have some nice uh, TV kind of food like nachos and pinwheels and some good stuff. Always good things. But it's been a nice chill day. But we also have, I was starting to open it, but we have a full-sized premium shave cream aloe vera 
sensitive skin, which is gonna be fantastic. Can't wait to try that. Let's see what it actually looks like out of the package. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Excited to use that. I might actually use some of these products tonight. Other than, of course, the 316. Looks like we've got some more. Shave cream. This one is limes and pomegranate. Now, I'm really excited about this one. You guys know why. If you've been following me for any length of time, you know that I absolutely love um, lime citrus type scents. And so I think this is going to fit in perfectly in the Tolson house household here. Looks like we've also got some aftershave balm as well. So we've got the cream on one side and the lotion on the other. I like the packaging on these samples. And it looks like they offered me some pretty decent sized samples here to use a few times. I'm excited to see that. Maybe this is something new that Edwin Jagger is offering because I wasn't actually aware that they did anything with cream, soaps, anything. And we've got some more shaving lotion here. This just says they're hydrating pre-shave lotion. So it's a little pre-shave. So I'll be using, whoa, <laughs> I'll be using this in the pre-shave. Really excited to see how that's going to be because I've used a few pre-shaves and you guys know that I typically for soaps, at least for actual soaps, I will pre-soak all of my soaps. You don't do that with creams, but with soaps, I pre-soak all of them and I use that pre-soak water or the blooming water, if you will, as a pre-shave typically. Now I do also use the Phoenix Arson Accoutrements Cube and I've used a few other pre-shaves before, but it'll be interesting to see their take on it. And then we've got premium shave cream sandalwood right here. I wonder what the difference is between this and this. Oh, it's just a double double thing of uh, sandalwood. So that'll be awesome because I actually love the sandalwood scent. So I am looking forward to trying that out from Edwin Jagger. That's going to be awesome. But to the main event, I don't think we got anything else in here other than the, oh, we got some more pre-shave. Sweet. Awesome. But, 316. I got a little pamphlet material in here. Precis. Good heavens, if I could talk to they'd be great too. Pre Precision stainless steel double edge safety razor. Looks like it comes in blue, gray, red. Looks like silver, black. Kind of showcasing. Some of those options there. Pretty cool. Real excited. I honestly couldn't wait. That was kind of the tricky thing was, do I just do this off camera and then showcase everything afterwards? Because I was so impatient to, to get everything all set up for the video. Really good packaging. I will say on the razors that I've received, this is top notch. That's, <laughs> that's so cool. Look at that. Look at that, it just slides right open. If I can slide it closed, and then you just tug, not push, because this is staying that way, but there you go. You got the 316. And it doesn't even pop out completely because there's a little tab that you can just lift and get access to everything you need. It comes with some feather blades. That'd be interesting. I do like me some feather blades. They're really nice, efficient. But guys, this is something that's not even on the market yet. This is a new offering by Edwin Jagger. And more, this is going to look beautiful in Shave of the Days. Absolutely beautiful because of this handle. Kind of showcase the handle real quick. You guys can see it right there. Beautiful blue. I had a feeling it was going to be the blue. That's why I turned on the blue lights. That actually can change to different colored lights. Observe. Observe. Cool beans. <laughs> but, um, and it's got the Edwin Jagger lettering on there like you would see with their typical lines same up here towards the uh, towards where the head would screw in 
feels premium, feels really good. A little adhesive on the bottom there. Get that off. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Now the handle to me almost feels like aircraft grade aluminum, anodized aluminum. I, I have no doubt that the head is stainless steel because it feels like stainless steel, but the head itself reminds me of anodized aluminum. I'll have to double check with Gail on that to find out for sure if this is stainless steel itself, the handle, but the head is definitely stainless steel. I can feel it. Oh yeah, nice clean threads. Look at that thing. It's nice to get the DE89 format in stainless steel. And people have been talking about this forever. People have been talking about that Mercur needs to get on board with stainless steel instead of the, the zinc alloy, which there's nothing wrong with zinc alloy. I've got some of my favorite razors, like the PAA Prismatic is a zinc alloy head. Um, they'll serve you just as good as almost anything else. They're just not as durable. So if you want something that's an heirloom item, something that harkens back to how things were made back in the day, usually they were made with copper, brass, um, nickel plated brass that sort of thing but a lot sturdier of a material than zinc alloy well now we've got stainless steel <laughs> look at that look at that that is looks insanely good that's going to show up beautifully on my black mac drop that i use for my shave of the days on instagram real excited to see how this shaves but I'll be posting that stuff later on tonight um, as far as my first impressions with it on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me there. But I'll try to get this video published as soon as possible because, of course, I want the video to precede the actual Shave of the Day post. So that way you guys can kind of get a familiarity with it. But you can kind of see how the head is right there. Everything just seems nice, tight, well machined. I'm not seeing any machining imperfections. All the surfaces feel remarkably smooth, which is sometimes the tricky part when you're dealing with stainless steel or even aluminum. Sometimes finishing issues can be a problem. That was one of the reasons why I moved along on my Marvel razor, the fine accoutrements Marvel, is there was a lot of finishing problems I didn't care for, so I just moved that along. I might get another one one day, but for right now, I don't really feel like I'm missing out on too much. One thing I did notice, though, is the balance point is about there. So that's what you're looking at when we're talking about balance. Is about that point right there. Really, really cool. Um, I love this. Can't wait to see how it's going to do in the shave. I'll keep you guys updated on that. Stay tuned for more videos coming up soon as I'm planning to add some more content with a few reviews and product showcases and stuff. But I think Edwin Jagger did an excellent job here. And they definitely took their time to figure out how they wanted to present the product. Because I feel like oftentimes that's, that's half the battle is the presentation. So that's what we're looking at here. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time on The Shaving Tulsa.